people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news that we see that the Popo, the joint military team, the SWAT team, they went to Mavis Bank for a man and he is said to be a troublemaker and he is or he was called Two Gun Kid. Now people, like we see, of lately we see that the Popo has been putting in the work. We say that the Popo take out people left, right and center. We are talking about Sparta, we are talking about Preke, we are talking about everybody and their mama. Seems to be falling like some dominoes. So the latest victim we are speaking about a man in a place called Mavis Bank. And like me say, if you don't know where Mavis Bank is, we are speaking about past Jamaica College, go up a popping. Headed up, we are speaking about up the hill, we are talking about up there, so we are talking about Mavis Bank, where they have a lot of coffee factories, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blah. So anyways, people, based on the information, it is said that this man was a violent producer in the era, and the Pope of them hear him name a call up, so therefore, they went for him with the big boys. So people, there are two videos out there, so people, take a listen, take a look to the edited versions. I just so people like you see in the first video, they might carry him down half of the hill in a some cloth wrap up like a sack of potato where I talk about D-E-A-D -E pan arrival. So people we see so the popo them now and play whenever they are going for you. Especially if them claim or it is alleged that you basically try to send up some can pan them. People it is not going to end up good. They are going to send you in the afterlife point blank and period so people take a listen take a look to video number two so people video number two and you understand that this is the edited version you hear them same face look swell up and people, you don't know how this channel is. Me have the video, me have the audio, me have the picture, me have everything and the mother. Point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. This is not a very good time for a gangster. This is not a good era as it pertains to any sort of gunman or any sort of thief. Because we see so them and take them out and I am not speaking about a date. I am speaking about a date with D-E-A-T-H. Them and take them out left, right and center. So therefore, if you have somebody that you know that is out there that might be living his life on the edge, this might be the right time for you to tap him on him shoulder and say, listen, maybe you need a change of plans we are speaking about a different sort of job because this job is only going to be detrimental to your health and people when we talk about your health may i talk about you won't have it anymore point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not a gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dance Hall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel where I speak about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. And people, this is how you find my videos on YouTube. You just search true Jamaica buzz. And when you search, you're going to see a maroon icon with a T. You press on that maroon icon and it is going to take you to video or uploads. You press on video or uploads and it is going to show you my latest video followed by the ones after that. Mm -hmm. Gunman, ride on back, car man, who shot him. Car man, lick him off on his bike, right on the car, why you see that? The bike did that, sir. 
So the next thing that is popping in the news is an incident that took place in a place called Negril. So basically, this man was driving his car when he was approached by some men on a bike and people, them robbed him. And after they robbed him, this man decided that he was going to defend his money. He was going to defend himself. So people, him take him care. And while they were getting on the bike, him basically use the car and rasp the bike. We are talking about in a while. And basically squash out one of the man them. However, the next man basically take for himself. And it was said that they found, we are speaking about the piece. We are talking about the fire piece on the ground. Beside the man that was basically balling for him life. Because people, you know that it was very but, and you understand how it goes anything that happens in a Jamaica me have the video and me have the picture so therefore if you want the video and you want the picture whatsapp me 1876894-2711 however be very patient I will get to it when I can because you understand that I have to send these out individually now people when we look at this like I said before it is a very bad time for criminals right now 2020 is not a good year for dancehall artists and it is not a good year for we are speaking about gangs we are talking about thieves we are talking about gunmen we are talking about people we are slapping people because we see that the odds are basically against you right now and people in these two last videos that i showed this is a perfect or these are perfect example be very careful one day the bucket go out the well one day or the next day or one day the bucket i got drop out sorry every day the bucket go out well one day the bottom i got drop out and people it has been dropping out for a lot of these gunmen we are speaking about recently in the last month or so so therefore find a next job get something else to do get some sort of education fill out some application get some sort of trade point blank and period because it is not working out very well for you people anymore so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section now people yesterday i did a video about a 37 year old jdf soldier and his name is omar Hines, and i said that he pulled his fire piece on his girlfriend in a place called portmore we are speaking about st catherine we are speaking about bridgeport to be specific now people like you understand this channel is very resourceful and we have all sorts of connections so therefore this man pull him tool upon him girlfriend so therefore i decided that i should pull his file and thanks to my people we're speaking about credible people that always send me all sorts of information and it is said that this jdf soldier we're speaking about mr Hines. He is from a place called gibraltar housing scheme we are speaking about in a saint mary and based on the information it is that he is oc pet name aka he is called bobby and he is a drill sergeant in the army we are talking about the jdf and he is also married with two kids and his wife's name is debbie we are speaking about debbie fisher and she is almost twice his age and people what is even worse is that this man have a girlfriend in a portmore bridgeport to be specific and him basically a pull G-U-N pan the girl and him have him own wife and two picnic in a St. Mary. Now people can you imagine that him want everything him want ass and saggle. So people I am only showing you how these soldier man these popo men are in Jamaica. Him have him wife I'm yard. However him have matey. However him want to tell matey what to do. However whenever he gets upset him want to beat up matey and draw a gun pan matey. And people that is the same thing that he does with his wife in a St. Mary who have the two picnic. And people like me say this lady is almost twice his age and she even have a son that is about the same age as a soldier man. And it is said that sometimes him and the son kick off because him a beat up the mother. So people, me just show you the type of person that he is. And people, when I run the file, it is said that he was always an aggressive person. Even as a youth going to school, him always was a bully. Nobody never liked him because he was always in all sorts of fight. So people, we are speaking about a person with an aggressive tendency. So the question that I have to ask, how did he get into a place where you are supposed to be patient, where you are supposed to be professional? So people, the moral of the story is that any sort of riffraff can join the JDF or join the JC 
CF in a Jamaica and people they just don't have the temperament and this is yet a next perfect example so the people in the community they are saying they are not surprised he got what he had coming because he has been a bully for decades we are talking about from childhood we are talking about from school years up until now when he is 37 year old so people like me say I am doing the job for the JDF I am only making them know the type of person that he is so therefore he is not supposed to have a job anymore so people with sister you cannot trust these poor poor you cannot trust a soldier you can't trust just about nobody in a Jamaica any and uh, everybody have some sort of attitude problem some sort of aggression problem point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section